So we picked anti-bullying because it's such an important topic in Vancouver um, and we wanted to make sure that uh, we could connect with the Greater Vancouver parents, with uh, teachers, with students, with the community members. A bunch of us UBC alumni. We wanted to give back to the community. There was a project on the UBC Your Evolution and so we thought that we would get together, join forces because we all have very different careers and do something for the community. Carol Todd, uh, Amanda's mother, is going to be with us today. Two years ago that news really hit us hard and very close to home and so we really wanted to make sure we could partner with her and be able to bring some awareness to cyberbullying as well mm -hmm. um, and mental health. There were other past events where we've seen Lego in play that's been very powerful. And so when we reached out to Strategic Play, we wanted to collaborate and do something that is creative, that is fun for both adults and kids, and can spread that message about anti-bullying. When the organizers asked us if we would help them run a LEGO Serious Play workshop for the community with the focus on anti-bullying, we were more than happy to agree to do that. Bullying is a big issue in the corporations where we work and we also know that it's a big issue in the community as well. So coming to the table we had a mixed group of people, all different ages and lots of children and LEGO Serious Play is quite a directive play modality which means that we ask people what to build. It's not open play so it's play with a purpose. For that reason because bullying is such a, a sensitive topic we didn't want to trigger anyone and so we wanted to leave all the questions quite open and use a positive psychology approach. And we use the Lego Lonely Guy, which is a great story. Lego has the story about the lonely guy who is in every organization that might have some great ideas if only he was asked. And we use that metaphor to say, you know, maybe the lonely guy is a guy that is bullied or he might be the person that doesn't have a lot of friends and maybe that person is you. And then that was all we mentioned about bullying. We didn't talk about bullying again. We actually structured all our questions around positive relationships, friendships, and uh, what it means to be a friend. We knew that parents were sitting at the table with the children, and we also had LEGO Series Play facilitators that were trained at every table. And so we felt that if anything came up, that the people at the table would be able to work with the topics and keep the questions really open-ended and keep everything in a very positive way. It was excellent and we're going to continue to do these and we'll probably do them in a very similar way. The approach that we used, I would recommend it as a great approach to talking about the topic of bullying. In this scene, the guy in the middle is missing a leg and beside him is his friends. And this is the finish line, so they're crossing the finish line. So, uh, so the idea is a good friend will always help you cross the finish line, even if you're missing a leg or you're going through a rough patch in your life, they'll always help you cross the finish line. So this is a silly garden, and this is my friend and me in the silly garden, being silly, and a silly garden is all wonky, just like life is a little bit wonky. That one is where you take all the stuff you've learned and teach it to somebody else. Yeah, and you teach it to someone else, and then they just play around. I love the Lego idea and the, and the playing with Lego and the manipulating of Lego because Lego has been around forever and I think you know when you're really young you have Duplo and it grows you grow up in the different stages so it's something that adults children everyone can relate to it comes in all these bright pretty colors and there's so many different pieces but it really puts a different perspective on anti-bullying and kindness and positiveness and creativity and as I said it's the, the freedom to do something without judgment. You can create and say whatever you want and no one is there to judge you and it's, a, it's the freedom of sharing ideas. I think it's so important bringing people together around a table and, and having things so unrelated to technology. 
and, and it's the grassroots of, of family and community and, and bringing people together over an activity.